Hey, welcome, Pete Kotchev here with you. And in this video, what we're going to do is talk about the four steps that will allow you to increase your email open rates, okay? In fact, I'm over here on my GetResponse account. I'll use GetResponse as the example, but you can apply this strategy, these four steps that will allow you to really scale up your you know, open rates um, with over 100%, honestly. You know, the way you're see what you're seeing here is about 122 emails, right? And uh, the way you get uh, over 100% is this is actually the summary, the unique, okay? When you're looking at it, the unique would be uh, the more exact number. This just means more people uh, clicked more than once, okay? That's, you know, how much they like the message, right? So here's um, step number one, okay? I'll pull up a notepad here and I'll show you exactly what I do to get amazing open rates, okay? And even click through rates. So number one is send your traffic, okay? Or also known as clicks, right? People that will look at your offer to thank you page, okay? What happens is uh, when you send people like to your opt-in form or your capture page, right? That will allow you to capture their email they will take him to your email list and if you from that point send them directly to an offer that you're promoting or directly to where you want them to go then at that point they're already engaged in that part of you know getting what they opted in for so they are less likely to open your your email okay because they already followed through looked at your offer and said oh, okay that's what that is I'm interested or I'm not interested so there's less open rates that way okay so what you want to do to get a higher open rate on your email is you can um, send people directly to your capture page and then once they opt in uh, have a thank you page that takes them nowhere all it does it says thank you for opting in I just send the information that you opted in for directly to your email what you're doing is you're instructing them to go and open that first email, okay? That's how you will automatically get amazing open rates and very great click-through rates, okay? I've tested this and it's a proven concept because what you're doing is you're taking them and you're instructing them to go back to your email. Another thing that's great is on the bottom there, you can say, if you don't see my email in the next like 10 minutes or so, be sure to check your promotions or spam folder because sometimes you know, people have these filters based on their email servers that they use. And a lot of times your emails can go to spam based on your spam score right inside your email provider. So you're instructing them to go dig for your email so more people will find it and open it. And once they do, it can be whitelisted so they'll get a better delivery uh, rate from you, okay? So that's number one. And um, that's how you can definitely improve your open rates, okay? Now, number two tip, okay? This is what I call the, you know, 80, 20, okay? 80, 20 value, okay? Value pitch uh, rate, okay? So what you want to do is have 80%, okay? 80% of your content or emails that you send value-based and only about 20% are pitch base, which means you're promoting or pitching your offer or opportunity, okay? So 80% value, 20% sell, okay? That will improve your open rates and consistent engagement in the long run, okay? What that's going to allow you to do is say, you know, in your like first email, you could say, hey, here's the offer you just opted in for, here's the information, go check it out. So they'll open your first email, your first email will always have the most open rates and click-through rates, and there's always going to be a fall-off rate moving forward, okay? But to have that fall-off rate less and less, um, in your next emails, send value. Like in your next three to five emails, just send value, value, value. Like, I'm sure this can help you. Or in your second email, just say, hey, I just want to follow up, make sure you looked at that offer I sent you. And your first email, just appreciate them. Just say, hey, thank you for being my subscriber, I appreciate you. Now I want to give you a lot of value, the most I can give you that anybody's ever given you. Because you have to understand that all these people that are opting into your email list, they're probably opted into other email lists, right? So be somebody who will give them more value than their other people that they're opted in, 
into, right? So they'll be more than happy to open your emails, okay? So you're not just pitching, pitching, pitching the same thing for like the next seven days and then you'll never hear from them again, right? They'll never open your emails probably or for most of them won't, right? But if you're starting to give value, like value that's based around what they were looking for, because remember, you want to be a solution provider for your people, right? That opt into your email. So serve them the best that you can, okay? It even helps to get on email lists of other very successful um, people in your field, right? In your niche and see what they're doing. See the value that they're providing. Go on YouTube, learn something, bring that value to them, okay? So keep on uh, focusing on giving 80% value of some information, some tip that you can serve them with that can help them in you know, getting closer to their solution, right? What they're looking to accomplish. And, um, and then only about 20% pitch. So like do four emails of value, one email pitch, okay? That'll get you sell more sales actually and it'll get pre-framed to take more action and buy from you. But at the same time, they're getting a lot of value from you so they'll love to open your emails in the future. So higher open rates that way as well, okay? Number three uh, tip is clean your email list consistently. Clean list, okay? So what does this mean? And this is actually a more advanced uh, strategy, but very, very powerful and nobody, not much people are there teaching it, but very few people are even applying this, okay? And I'll show you exactly how I do this. So I'm in my Get Response account, okay? Get Response, I like it because, you know, as a marketer, I've used a lot of services and uh, I have, you know, multiple email lists and I've had multiple accounts, right? I like GetResponse because it has a lot of the functional functions I like for email marketing, okay? And it's user-friendly. So an email um, in GetResponse, what you can do is go to contacts, okay, contacts. Um, and then this list, I, I, don't, I don't have more than just a couple thousand people in this account, but what I would do is go to my contacts in GetResponse. I would go to show all contacts. As you can see, I only have like 3,500 uh, emails that I collected on this particular account. Okay, and um, okay, so what I would do is click advanced search, okay, advanced search, and what I want to do, okay, what I mean by clean list is remove, right, remove, right, remove the inactive, okay, emails, okay, this means that people that do not open your emails or have not opened your email in some time frame, you want to just remove them from your list because they're dead emails, right? You're, you're paying money to have these emails, but you're not getting any open rate from them, okay? So they're dead emails. Plus what happens is when the less open rate you get, what happens is uh, like get response or any email provider will put you on their bad, um, on their bad IP addresses okay that means that when they look at your activity and see hey he's getting very low open rates people are not really liking his emails or her emails so they'll put you on their bad IP addresses okay which means your open rates are just gonna go very low and a lot of your content will go to their spam boxes okay so um, to uh, hopefully get out of that um, one recommendation I could make is this um, clean your email list okay clean your email list consistently and this is how you would do this right is once you go to search contacts and advanced search you would click on all select lists so I would drop down my list and select lists okay like let's say I want to select all my lists that I want to apply this to okay select the list autoresponder settings uh, receiving autoresponders not receiving res so um, any autoresponder settings okay I'll just say any, whether they're receiving the emails or not, all the people that are on my list, okay? Next, subscribe when, you know, so what this um, question is, is do you want to remove people that have not opened your email in the last 30 days, in the last week, in the last two months, right? Or um, I think there's an option to even, um, you know, pick your custom one, but I'll say, uh, I'll say, let's say last two weeks, last two months, you know, this month, and uh, I will select this one, subscribe, say anytime. So that means that if people, if your account is fairly new, you can select the anytime option. If your account is like fairly old, right? Just say, 
how about the people that have not opened any emails in the last 30 days? That's the ones, let's say, you want to remove, okay? Next, I'm going to add a condition by clicking here, and it'll give me some more filters, okay? It's pretty cool. So now I want to select this dropdown and select contact actions, okay? Contact actions meaning uh, people that you've tried to contact, okay? Then, next one is messages opened, so I'll drop down, and... Um, I will select the messages not opened. Okay, this means that I'm selecting the people that have not opened any messages in the next in the last 30 days. Okay, have not opened any of your emails. Okay, then this next one I will drop down and is do you want to remove people who have not opened your autoresponder messages in the last 30 days or your newsletters, which means the broadcast that you send to all your lists, right? I'll say all, okay? If what I'm looking for here is, what I've did is I selected all the people, okay? I selected um, all the people that have never, okay, never, I selected, all, so I'm gonna click apply now, okay? Here's what I'm, here's what I just did. I selected all the people that have never opened any of my emails in the last 30 days, okay? Really cool option. And it just filtered through um, 9,700 in you know contacts that I had. I actually removed a bunch from this list, or I moved them to another one. And I'll show and I'll explain why I did that. So it says I have 187 people right here that have not opened my emails in the last 30 days. Okay. So what I can do is select this email address, and it selects like all these people, all 187. And then I can, what I can do is go up to these three dots up here next to the number, okay? And, and I can just click delete and I will delete all of them, okay? Um, but here's another trick you can do. You can first um, export, click export and download a regular CSV file to your computer before you delete them, okay? and then you delete those inactive ones from your account. What happens now is the people that you have left on your email now are people who have engaged and opened your emails in the last 30 days. These are your active emails. So now that you, when you send an email, your open rate won't be like a couple percent, right? Even when you send a newsletter, you can get, you know, 10, 30, 50, 60% open rates, okay? because these people have opened an email in the last 30 days, so they're more likely to open your email, right? Now, what happens is you're getting a high open rate, right? What you can um, also do, right? What you can also do is the people that you have removed and downloaded those inactive emails, um, because you've been getting a low open rate and get response or your email provider has put you on a very low um, or a very bad IP address, right? You can take that inactive list and open an account in, say, Aweber, another email provider like GetResponse, right? Less functionality when it comes to email marketing, right? But Aweber is also good. It has good open rates, right? You can, say, open up a Aweber account, download that list there, right? And send them an email with some something value of that you want to give them, some cool stuff, like, hey, I want to give you some cool stuff. What happens now is Aweber is a brand new account and it does not, it did not put you on a bad IP address yet because it doesn't know how your engagement will be. So the people that will open your email, right, um, have them opt in to a form that takes them back to your Git response. So what you're doing now is um, having Aweber put you on a, they put you on a good IP address and before they put you on a bad IP address, you're going to get more of your emails out to those inactive members and then get them to opt in and take that email to your Git response, back to your Git response account, for instance, right? So now those people that are active, they just open an email and they'll be, you know, they'll be active inside here as well. Then take the rest and you can permanently delete them if you want, right? Um, what happens now is you have only active people in your email list now and what you could do is you can contact your response and say hey my i got my engagement up can you please put me on a good ip address contact their support or if you have any questions they have a really great 
live chat and they're really they're really cool I, I've talked to them all the time they walk me through things step by step and this will get you on a good IP address um, or sometimes what you could even do is shut down like download this list shut down your account and open a new get response account and uh, and then just upload you know the list again sometimes you have to contact them and say hey I'm coming back to your response can I, yeah, I like to update I'd like to upload a list I had here previously because sometimes I'll say this is a familiar list and we don't want you to download it so you can ask them to approve that for you I've done that and um, this one you have a brand new account and you have high open rate you can contact them and say can you put me on your good IP address please and when they look at your activity and see you have high open rates they will dig, do that courtesy for you then your email rates can just spark through the roof Okay, so that's cleaning your list. Remove the inactive people, filter through them, and start you know, emailing the people that have been opening your emails with more value. Build that relationship and trust with them so they like you and want to do you know, business with you and preferably buy from you in the future when you are, say, promoting something to them, okay? Number four is something I'm not really going to get into deep right now, but it's called email automation. Okay, email automation, very, very powerful. So what email automation is, is something you can set up in Get Response. actually. You can even contact their support and have them walk you through them, through the steps, okay? Um, or they have it in their tutorial videos too. Email automation is when people take some kind of action, it removes them from one list and puts them on another list, okay? For instance, if you have an email list where you just collect all your people, which are your potential prospects that have not bought anything from you yet, right? And then you have an, another email list that um, when, uh, let's say, they buy from you and become a buyer, they go on that email list, okay? And when you put them on that email list, which is like your buyer's email list, which is very valuable, you want to remove them from that other list. So you're not sending them messages that say, join, join, join this opportunity or join or buy from me because they've already bought, right? So now you can communicate to them differently because they're a buyer and they have room and email um, automation allows you to set it up to where it'll, it'll say like, when they go on this list, remove them from this other list. Very cool, right? And this way it'll do it for you automatically. Or when you say, have a new product or a new program that you want to enroll them into and then say hey check this out it's free or you know join this so when they do they it'll remove them from the other list for instance right so now you don't have that same email on like three different lists right that's called like duplicational emails which you'll be charged for right you just want to have the email list once inside all your lists right inside your get response or any email providers account right so this will allow you to communicate to them specifically to where they are in their journey okay so let me know if you uh, found value in this give me a thumbs up I'd appreciate this and um, if you actually would like me to do a video on email automation in depth um, I could do that let me know in the comments okay um, I don't know if you have experience with email automation or if you'd like to learn more about it let me know in the comments what you think, okay? And be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'd love to share more value with you and this kind of training so you can get better results in your marketing efforts, okay? Again, this was Pete Kachev. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you'd like to work closer with me and learn more of my strategies, um, I put a link below in my description. You can go ahead and check it out and I'll get you um, enrolled and you can roll uh, with me and we can work closely together and I'll show you all the things that are working best for us and getting us results. Same uh, ways that have allowed me to you know, generate uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars for really multiple companies and it's allowing me to earn passive income. So that's kind of where you want to be and I'd love to share more of this with you and that's what you're interested in. So that's the link below. Uh, otherwise, be sure to subscribe, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now, go out there, apply these four steps and I can um, guarantee that you will increase your open rates by a lot. Go ahead and test it out for yourself and uh, let me know how it works for you, all right? Go out there, have fun, and I'll see you next time.